Hey everybody and welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL. You're gonna have to give me a second here, uh, or at least give me your patience because I just came back from PAX East, as is typical for coming back from a convention where there's, you know, 60,000 sweaty people, 5% of whom apparently don't wash their hands after they take a shit. I'm a little under the weather, and, and um, I was like, what should I record today? What would be easy for me to record, you know, good for the vocal cords? And I'm like, yeah, you know what, like a 90-minute FTL run probably seems uh, great. It's either that or like a 45-minute Isaac run, and it's backed myself into this corner where uh, I only play long games, but at least they're long games that I like. So, uh, I played a lot of FTL while I was flying to and from PAX East, and I played a lot on easy, and it was on the travel version of the game, obviously, or don't, I guess if you have a laptop, any version of the game could be the travel version of the game, uh, but I had some really good times, and I think I'm a little bit more prepared to maybe take the game up to the harder difficulty level, and the other thing is, well, not harder, normal is harder, but it's not quite hard, but anyway, um, that's not to say it's not difficult, I'm backing myself into a corner again, but uh, we're gonna try again to get the uh, Kestrel's Second layout, the red tail, I used that ship a lot, I liked it, now I need to unlock it on the PC version. So, um, we could either have the United Federation, which means six unique aliens, or tough little ship, which means we get down to uh, one health and then heal all the way. So let's just save everybody up, and uh, get ready to jump for the very first time. I want to say a couple of things as we get started here, usually the first sector is pretty easy when it comes to combat, so I hope that I'm not going to... Uh, you know, accidentally talk over anything that is particularly amazing. If I do, I apologize. But, uh, two things that I want to say thank you about. The first thing is, uh, sincere thanks for all the support on the series so far. Uh, if this is obviously the second time I've done an FTL series. It, it coincided conveniently with the advanced version of the game coming out. I- Ooh, Beam. Don't hurt me, Beam. I really don't want to use a missile here. One second. We'll go on their weapons first. Ooh, didn't hurt us as much as I thought it would. We're gonna be fine here. Alright. We can almost even auto-fire at this point, but anyway, um, I had no idea how I was going to do, I thought I was going to do not fantastically, because I have a reputation for being pretty bad at FTL, uh, but the feedback on the series so far has been really amazing, and I genuinely do appreciate that a lot. This has become uh, a really nice series to run, and a series that is actually sustainable, which doesn't always happen, so uh, sincere thanks for all of your support on the series so far, uh, and tying in with that, Really? We just get nine scrap and a repair point of our hull? I should have just taken the freaking bribe rather than go through that nightmare of possibly being, you know, put in more danger. But anyway, um, thanks for all of the, the positive feedback that you've given me with respect to, um, you know, how to improve in the game. I, I genuinely do uh, appreciate it a ton. Uh, you've helped me out a lot and hopefully I'll be able to turn this into a series where I actually stand a pretty good chance of uh, actually competing in FTL and being able to accomplish something. We'll see. Oh wow, I did not think- this must be like a second level beam drone or something like that. Um, that is actually capable of, um, taking out the, uh, shields and getting a shot in. Sorry, it's not even a beam drone, it's a laser drone. So actually, I'm just gonna shoot, um, my Artemis at their, uh, drone control unit. Just so that I can take that offline, and then we won't shoot it again. It's a waste of a mi- well, not a waste, but it's a use of a missile when I would rather not use one, but so be it. By the- oh, ah, that's not extinguished yet, that was silly. By the way, I would like to point out that, uh, if you, uh, are interested in picking up the FTL Advanced Edition iPad version, I would totally recommend it. I probably got about, uh, 15, 20 hours into that over the course of traveling this week, this weekend. Uh, and I would absolutely recommend it. I think it's maybe one of the best iPad games I've ever played. I mean, it is also $10, but it, it's basically as good as the PC version. It's just a little bit quirky in its controls for me, because I'm not a huge fan of, uh, touchscreen controls. I much prefer to be able to have keyboard and mouse control. Because for whatever reason, I don't know if it's like, if you're 12, you just got more electricity co coursing through your veins, like I've eaten one too many Baconators or something like that, and the little cholesterol blocks the electrical impulses or something like that, but I always see like little kids and they're getting these high scores in Fruit Ninja, and I'm like, why, why doesn't it swipe, why doesn't it swipe, and they're like, no, you can't, you don't do it like that, granddad, you gotta do it like this, and then I put my finger on the thing, and they're like, no, you're gonna break the screen, and I'm like, fine, anyway, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, more expensive than your average, uh, iPad game. Uh, oh, that's really bad. Okay, we're gonna have to Artemis their, um, weapons for sure. Keep in mind, this is the first time I played on normal in a little while. Uh, both of their weapons are offline, that's good. Really would prefer to use less missiles if possible. And I've been, the, the other thing I wanted to talk about is that I've been mucking about with, uh, some of the cooler systems in FTL that maybe I never really worked with before. Oh god, I did it again. Oh no, never mind, that's out, that's good. So we'll open all doors just to make sure the oxygen gets out a little faster. Um, so I've been mucking about with things like a crew teleporter. Crew teleporter is really interesting. Uh, I've been mucking about with fire weapons or trying to take more shots on, uh, systems that are not just shields, weapons, and engines. So I've been, uh, doing things like trying to take out enemy oxygen areas and then kill everybody on the ship without accident- or without actually killing the ship itself. 
um, which I think is, is stra a strategy that's worked out fairly neatly so far, although it is very difficult to do so unless you have weapons like bio beams, basically, which allow you to, you know, kill enemies without damaging the hull. But then do you really want that? Because if you do that, um, you won't be able to damage the hull if you want to. But anyway. We, uh, another strategy that I've kind of, we'll see if we can try that out. That's obviously something that's more based on the dice rolls of what kind of items we get. Uh, another strategy that I've been using a lot, and yeah, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, this could be a terrible idea. But it's kind of like save scrap whenever possible. Because I, I, as I was playing the game, oh, they've got a hacking unit. This could be a little dangerous, actually. Um, I mean, it sucks that it's on the piloting system, but... Theoretically, we could still win this fight fairly easily as long as I get in a good first burst laser here and maybe their missile misses, but it, which it of course will not because um, of the fact that my piloting system is offline. Let's get this weapon fixed up and we may just want to jump out of this one. It's going to be very difficult for us to actually... Oh my god. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for us to actually take them out in this situation now because that drone really is going to stop me from hitting them with the Artemis. Oh, that's a very lucky miss for us. Uh, not being able to hit them with the Artemis means that, you know, kind of we're fucked <laughs> in, in some ways. Um, so I kind of want to just land maybe the first shot on drone control, take their defense drone offline, then hit their weapons with an Artemis if possible. Uh, which I think is totally going to work. But certainly, yes, this has been a, a bit of a, a difficult fight for me. And this better not miss. That's a good hit. And now we can start to uh, not use missiles but still come out of this okay. So yeah, I mean, I, I think... Not, not to toot my own horn at all, but I think one of the reasons this series is actually... Or I, oh, that's actually a really good offer. Not in terms of scrap, but in terms of fuel and missiles, for sure. I'll, I'll take that. Um, and we didn't take that much hull damage, truth be told, so that's not so bad. Uh, one of the reasons I like to think that the series is doing pretty well uh, is that... You know, my enthusiasm for FTL, I hope, comes across. I'm not the best FTL player. I've still never beaten the game on normal, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we will ex always accept quests. I always feel like it's just basically free scrap most of the time. Because uh, you can just choose not to go to it if you want to. But one of the reasons it's done well is because um, there is... Uh, hopefully my enthusiasm for the game comes across. Is basically what I'm trying to get at. I'm an eager learner. Not very good yet, but uh, maybe one day. And um, I, I, I want to get to that point, and that's why I've, I'm reading the feedback, and, and I'm excited about it. I'm just going to shoot a missile here. Two reasons. We have more than we probably normally would at this point, and uh, if they hit our weapons with that pike beam that they've got there, or whatever kind of beam it is, uh, I could still maybe get that missile out so I can take out their weapons, and then, you know, Bob's your uncle, we're in a much better position, aren't we? And we'll, we'll fire everything we've got at weapons, just to be sure. So yes, our piloting systems went offline, but uh, now all they have is a laser. I believe that laser only shoots once, but I'll still try to keep their weapons at bay uh, more than anything else for now. Oh, alright. Well, this is why I like to have the Artemis still up at this point, just in case you have to do that. Uh, apparently they have the greatest captain of all time and are just managing to dodge all of our shots, so we're going to find ourselves in a difficult position again. And yes, uh, they, they did not have one laser, they had two lasers, so that's my bad. Please land before the laser. There we go. With just a beam, there's nothing they can do, really. It's like that uh, No Doubt song that you guys listened to when you were kids, right? I'm just a, what, I'm just a beam and shields are not fair. That's actually a simple plan, not No Doubt, but, you know, they do have that song, Just a Girl as well. Anyway, uh, I expect that, you know, if I, if I have to be honest, we're probably going to have a much worse chance of actually getting to Sector 8 and fighting the Rebel Flagship, but this is my transition, maybe, from easy to normal, and hopefully, uh, you know, I want to get acclimated to not having 200 scrap after the very first sector. That's the kind of thing, because I've been playing on easy, and I've been, like, I've been making good progress, but I've also been, like, at the end of the first sector, I can have, like, a, a weapon pre-igniter, and then, like, buy a better weapon, get a second bar of shields, second level of doors, and stuff like that, and, um... It's just not very realistic, is it? Now, normally I would save scrap because I like to have um, upgrades. Or I like to buy my upgrades from shops and buy new su systems and subsystems and stuff like that. And I think that gives you a better chance of winning than just upgrading your basic stuff, especially on the Kestrel. But uh, because we're going to the Mantis War Camp, I think it might be nice to have maybe a second bar of shields, which we can do. Um, they'll probably have a missile launcher or a teleporter, which will be bad for me. But maybe I can move our weapons personnel into the door room, and uh, they'll have a better chance or something. But we'll see. Um, it's also possible that maybe we won't have combat here, but I imagine we probably will. Worth going to, though, because we are fairly strong, I'd say. Bombard their key structures for one missile. Yes, let's do that. And then we will end up fighting a ship. They don't have a teleporter. They have a charge laser, which charges very quickly here, as you can see. Uh, and a beam. And uh, this is a dangerous combination, but if, if, if even one of those lasers misses, they're, they're screwed. Uh, yeah, because that beam can't get through. Uh, can't Just can't get through. So if we just... 
kind of keep on them here. And I really like, uh, the other thing I've been working on is, is trying to hit multiple sections. Because you might look at this and say, like, well, they still have three, or they still have weapon power for that beam. So maybe I should hit the weapons. But um, I think it's nice to kind of spread out your damage. Because really, for that quest, I get 15 scrap and, like, a fuel and a missile. That's kind of ridiculous, I think. But um, if you spread out your damage, I think it takes more people and it takes longer to repair. Um, I don't really want to repair any damage here, so we'll just move to the exit. I think it takes more crew to repair, it spreads the crew out, maybe someone has to leave the piloting room, you get a better chance to hit in the future, and that's good for business, right? So let's, um, let's look at our courses here. I, well, there's no way we're not gonna be able, we have to go through two nebulas, let's put it that way. Yeah, so we might as well go through two nebulas lower, so the nebulas come later, if that makes sense. Maybe it's better for the nebulas to come earlier, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, we have a store and some distress beacons. Let's see if we can maybe get up to, you know, 60, 70 scrap and then go to the store and maybe we'll be able to buy, uh, some kind of system. This is gonna be a nasty ship to fight. We definitely need to upgrade our doors, we definitely need to upgrade our, um, we need to upgrade a lot of things, don't we? I, I would love to get more crew members, cause that's probably the easiest of the, uh, of the Kestrel conditions to meet now, is, um, oh, that's a good miss, uh, is for us to... Uh, get maybe like four more alien types or five more alien types. We got very lucky that that ion bomb did not land. The lasers by themselves cannot do anything to us because we have two bars of shields. I need to get more dodge chance, that's for sure. That's something I've been prioritizing more often lately. And it's been working out very well, but uh, you know, scrap's a lot harder to come by on normal than it is on easy, so... Sincerely on easy, I would... And you face easier ships too, it's not just that the scrap is easier, is uh, more. Um, so I would like... Finish the first sector, and I wouldn't spend any scrap on anything, and then I'd be like, what do I want? Oh, they have like, um... What's the crazy beam? I forgot what the crazy beam is called. The glaive beam or something like that. They're like, they have the glaive beam, so I'd like leave the first sector with the glaive beam, which is like the most powerful beam in the game, basically. Obviously, at this point, we're not gonna accept surrender. I would love to get more scrap as opposed to fuel and missiles. Fuel and missiles is fine. One of the pieces of feedback I got that I, I'm trying to pay uh, more heed to is the idea that maybe I spent too much scrap on fuel previously, and uh, people are telling me that maybe around 12 is is the magic number. Somewhere in that vicinity is uh, good enough to carry you to the destinations you want to go to, but not so much that you're spending scrap that you could send for something else. So I docked and tried to rescue the survivors, and that worked out amazingly for me. And uh, now we have a mantis, so that fulfills part of our problems with the... Uh, I'm, I'm actually just going to power up our med bay quickly and heal these people up. Uh, it fixes part of our, or helps us on our way to the condition of getting that uh, red tail, which is the B layout for the Kestrel ship, and it also uh, gives us someone that we can use to fight against invasions, or, in, you know, boarding, basically, and it also gives us uh, a door personnel, so we don't necessarily have to spend scrap upgrading our doors right away. And I think I can still get over to that exit beacon and the store, even by going in this general direction. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Just a regular Mantis ship. Looks like it has a, a laser that's gonna shoot Probably three shots, that looks like a burst laser mark two, and a bomb of some sort. I'm gonna try to get out of this one without using a missile, may or may not be possible. One of the things that's not, uh, come on, come on. Alright, that's bad, but we'll be fine. Uh, one of the things that's not immediately apparent about the, the clone bay, which is this thing that replaces the med bay, uh, is that it really changes the game if you're one of those people that wants to have like a boarding party and you want to kill all of the enemies without accidentally killing the ship and thus, you know, ruining your chance to get a little bit of extra scrap. Uh, you have to kill that clone bay, otherwise it stores the DNA of the crew members, thereby meaning that it's actually impossible for you to, to kill them because they'll just constantly respawn. So, it actually means that you have to prioritize attacking what is basically their med bay sometimes, which is kind of a cool shift because normally you're just like, med bay, that's like... Not ignore it, but, you know, let's be honest, kind of largely ignore it. So we have some options here. We could buy mind control. I love mind control. Uh, advanced FTL navigation seems totally fine. But I actually am just going to buy Vincent. He's an NG crew member. Why am I going to buy him? Because this helps us get a little closer to our, uh, our goals. And also, you know, he might be a good shield personnel, but he also basically gives us... Um, a, a second level of sensors, which is important if we want to attack people as opposed to attacking uh, systems. And he's an NG, which means that he'll uh, he'll help us out from a repair standpoint. So I think that's a pretty good pickup. Even if we tailor this run more for... Let's pry open the Mantis pod. Yeah, okay, so we got another crew member there. Now we can have a shield crew member. So we got a lot of crew. That's fine. Um, you should get to the med bay briefly here. And we'll heal up. Um, yeah, even if this run is not necessarily focused on winning... If we can just get that red tail, because uh, that's going to be a ship that I could see myself using a lot. Kind of like getting the D6 as Isaac, right? 
um, if, if that analogy holds. Let's save everybody here. We've got a nice crew. We've got all the systems that would improve by having someone manning them, actually manning them, so that's nice. But we're not going to be able to get too much else in this sector, it seems. So, um, yeah, we'll aid the civilian ship here. They don't have a teleporter. No. So, uh, they have a, a level one laser and some bombs. We probably, to be honest with you, won't have to deal with, um, with our own missiles, I think, as long as we can just continue landing these here. And this NG is going to melt pretty quickly, so that's good. Uh, another thing that's cool is that uh, in, the, in the Advanced Edition, by my standards anyway, in my opinion, I think they made the sensors a little bit more powerful. I, I try to get somebody on sensors or a second level of sensors as soon as possible, especially if I have mind control, because it really lets you see, like, is there someone that I could target uh, that would be just a pain in the ass for them to deal with. And oftentimes there is. If they have NGs on their ship, they're so frustrating to have to deal with from a crew standpoint because they make healing so much faster. Um, yeah, this is a perfect situation for us now. Now if I dropped like a missile in there or something, they would probably both come close to dying. Uh, but instead I'll just use burst laser to save missile parts. But yeah, um, it, it makes targeting crew uh, way, way more viable. Not that it wasn't in the first point, or in the first edition of the game, but anyway. Good, we picked up uh, what I would consider to be a fairly decent amount of scrap as a result of this. We'll just keep moving on. Uh, I, I shouldn't have moved on so quickly, actually. Our engines are not fully repaired, and we have intruders on board, and we're going to have some fire. So this is a, a little dangerous. You should close this door. I, I wish if you closed the door when they tried to get through it, it would just, like, trap them in there. Um, the thing I'm going to do is maybe send you in here, and then we'll close up this door and this door and this door and this door, and then we'll open these. So I uh, should not let you escape this room, though. All right, this, this is basically how I want this to go. So that's repaired now. Um, oh, you should get closed in. All of you should get closed in. There we go. I don't think they're going to be able to get through uh, our weapons area, which is good. So they're going to come into the engines area, which means we'll open these up so that all the oxygen gets taken out before they get a chance to get in. And I think we're going to be fine. But the real question is, where's the fire going to land when there is a, when there is a solar flare? Or we could just jump away right now, actually. That might be the best idea. There's a store right here, so that's like a safe beacon. We also don't have very much scrap, but that's okay. We can't really buy anything except a backup battery. And it turns out I should have actually bought the, the Rockman. Because if we bought the Rockman, uh, then we could buy an NG here, and we'd be closer to getting our, our next level of... Uh, the, the Kestrel. But I think what I am going to do, honestly, is just buy a shield charge. Sorry, not a shield charge booster. A repair arm. So, uh, reduces scrap by 15%, but repairs our hull. Would we spend 15% of our scrap on repairing our hull? Probably not. Plus, if you add in the other 50 scrap, but... I don't know. This is a this is a good question. So, we get 100 scrap per sector. Lower it by, like, 15. Um, sure, I'll, I'll buy it. You know... I'll explain my reasoning for it, because I was trying to crunch some numbers there, and I was like, why am I crunching numbers for this? Um, and, and I had faith in the game designers, let's put it that way. I had faith that they would not put something in the game and make it expensive if it was actually bad, and I know that that is the dumbest way to think about things, and I probably just spent scrap on something that is way less valuable than getting, you know, an extra 10% dodge chance. Um, but that was my reasoning behind it, is why would they add it if it wasn't good? Why would they try to sell me an extended warranty if it wasn't something that I actually wanted, anyway? Coffee is perfect drinking temperature. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, let's, let's go hard. Let's sell drone parts here. I do love getting drone control units. That's another thing that I've been experimenting with a lot, and it works out very nicely, especially for fighting ships that have missile launchers. Um, sure, we just got some free scrap there. Uh, especially for uh, fighting against ships that have missile launchers, and... That's really important, uh, because missiles are one of the few things that can get through just brute forcing your shields up to the highest level you can possibly get them to. So we went to the Zoltan homeworlds for two reasons. One is, it helps me avoid a nebula, and there's some free scrap for us. By the way, I apologize for not reading all of the dialogue at this point. I'm just assuming that if we did, each episode would be like four hours long, especially when you include the fact that I pause because I'm a filthy casual. Uh, but anyway, let's close this up for a second. Uh, the other reason was that it helped me avoid a nebula early. So. We can get to a nebula later, but also maybe I can get a Zoltan. Ooh, Ion Pulse imminent. That scares me because it usually takes down our shields completely, which is why I fired on their weapons. Uh, oh no, the med bay's out. This is why it's nice to have a good Mantis. Or sorry, a good NG, because he can heal that up super quickly. Alright, sensors are out and shields are out, which is why I waited to shoot the uh, Artemis. Or sorry, why I waited to shoot the burst laser, because the burst laser can now fit in in probably a better position. Try not to use any more missiles if possible. They fired another missile. And it hit our weapons area, so you know what? Here comes uh, another missile on their missile. You can't missile my missile, I'll missile your missile. 
There we go. Just wanted to make sure all of their shit stayed offline forever. Ion pulses are not that dangerous for us as long as uh, they can't shoot. As long as if we both don't have shields, whoever has weapons up is going to win. And we have weapons up right now. So I'm not even going to attack their shields. I'm going to go on oxygen just so they can't really repair anything. We don't need fuel as much as we need scrap. So this is fine. Just shoot one more missile on their uh, weapons area just so I didn't get screwed again. And we won't get screwed again. And can I jump to... Uh, mm, this is a scary one. I want our shields to come back. I don't give a shit about the med bay, but I want our shields to come back before I jump. May or may not be possible. Ion pulses happen so often. Might be best just to wait as long as we can. <laughs> and I think that was as long as we could. So our shields will just be, you know, they'll be out for like another second and a half or something like that. And they won't have time to shoot through that, so that's fine. Alright, that was a little harrowing. I should start upgrading with 97 scrap. Let's land uh, our first Artemis shot, ideally, on their um, weapons. Worked totally fine. It actually stunned their weapon personnel as well. And you know what? Uh, we are at the point, I guess, where I'm, I'm using missiles a little bit more reliably. So I'm going to launch one on their shields here. And we'll, we'll start prioritizing buying those from shops, I guess. And we'll just try to take out their weapons again. It's not really necessary to take out their weapons, to be honest with you. Uh, but the reason I'm doing it is because uh, it messes with that crew member who's still in there. We do need to become a little bit stronger from a weapon standpoint. We're just not doing as much damage as I would like to do at this point in the game. Mind you, again, my brain is calibrated on easy, so um, that that's a problem for me. And at least one of those lands. As long as one of those lands, I'm cool, man. I can sit here for the next ten minutes and just wait for you to grind that ship down. Now that they have two weapons back, I'm a little scared, but um, theoretically their shields should completely go down here because that guy's going to die. And then this guy's going to have to leave. That'll make their weapon recharge rate a little longer. And now we'll see if... Oh, you're a pretty big ding-dong there. You probably could have done more damage if you fired a little earlier. Uh, that's actually a pretty good offer for fuel and missiles. So I'll be okay with that. And we'll uh, just go repair our med bay quickly. Now, let me just take a look before that's finished. I don't see a store around. So I'm going to take this opportunity to upgrade a little bit. And I'm going to take uh, two bars of engine. And then two bars of power. And that'll give me... Uh, another 10% dodge chance or so, which is very useful. Another way to defend against missiles, basically. And we're good to go. We'll hit this distress beacon and then uh, kind of merge into that nebula as much as I would like not to. Yeah, you know what? For this, I, I will give them the fuel. They've upgraded our reactor by one. Three fuel is typically worth about what? Um, could we get... Yeah, we can get over there this way. So I'm going to keep going this way for now. Um, three fuel is typically worth about nine or twelve scrap. And uh, we got roughly 20 value out of it. So I feel like that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, we, we have more than enough fuel to go around now. So that's okay. All right, so this is a cloaked charge ion ship with what appears to be a pike beam or a fire beam maybe uh, attached to it. That's uh, actually a pretty scary proposition here. And we'll, uh, we'll fire on those weapons as soon as we can. Preferably not using a... Oh, man. Three ions. Here we go. Yeah, shield's completely down. We did... Don't... Oh, yeah, okay. We did manage to take the, the ions out before the beam could fire a second time. Please tell me... Oh, you fucker. That's exactly what I was concerned about. Luckily, shields are about to come back. Just in time, basically. Otherwise, that beam uh, would have done even more damage than it ended up doing, which was kind of a lot. The ships that, uh, or the difference between ships on normal and easy is no joke, man. On a lot of those uh, easy runs, I actually managed to get to the point where just for like six sectors in a row, it was just impossible for ships to do damage to me. And you're like, okay, well, that's. Especially as the Zoltan cruiser with the energy shield, it's like, you, you just can't hit me because I kill you before the energy shield goes down. If, I, if that happened to me on normal, I would be surprised but thrilled. Their cloaking should be little inhibited. Which is great. Uh, yeah, it won't be down for nearly as long, which means less time for their automated systems to repair, which means they're dead and I get scrap. 28 scrap is an okay payout. Can we get... I'm gonna have to put all my eggs in the basket of this store on the rightmost side of the screen. And again, keep in mind, I'm mostly just trying to buy crew members, to be honest with you. Hack this ship is, like, the worst of all of them. But they hacked the med bay, which is actually not that bad. Um, what else do they have? They have a bomb and a, uh, looks like a hull laser. Why you would shoot it there makes no sense to me, but whatever. Um, let's try to land this. You know what? We may not even need to uh, shoot a missile. And I'm actually glad that I didn't, because they have a drone control unit. So, let's try to get some shots in on this drone control unit, just in case. This is just a future proof us, basically. Uh, just in case uh, we do want to shoot an Artemis at them at some point. That'll make this more feasible. Because their defense drone will be closer to going down. And again, you know, we're just hitting multiple sections so that we can 
hurt them, basically. If I get enough scrap here to buy a weapon, I would be a, a very happy camper. Because really, we're doing poorly, I would say. We're not taking a whole lot of damage, and a part of that is because we get 15 less, 15% 15 less scrap from each encounter. Um, but yeah, the, the other thing is that um, we need more damage dealing potential, basically. It's just not very good uh, right now from a damage standpoint for us. And again, I'm just hitting as many different sections as I can here, just so that they have to spend uh, as many crew resources as possible repairing them and don't have much time at their stations, which could give me the advantage in the end. That's not really enough scrap for me to consider going for this. And that's what I wanted to bait out there. Now the shields are gone and the pilot is vacated, so, um, well, now the pilot's back. But they're not going to have very much dodge chance, and I, I really can't believe that didn't do it, to be honest with you, but whatever. One more hit will finish them off, and that'll be easy to get. Just a couple of seconds, and there we go. So, that's why you don't hack the med bay. Hacking is one of those things where if the AI hacks something good, oftentimes it's better to... Oh man, I don't even know if I can get to that store. Go boo, that'll be like there. And then go boo, it'll be like that. I honestly think I might be better off just going this direction instead and saying fuck the store. I'm not really thrilled about it, but that's it's okay. We don't have that much, uh, that much scrap, really, so... I don't mind it so much, and I, saving scrap, I think, is a totally viable strategy. There's no need to spend on a shitty up, like, there's no need to spend 40 scrap three times uh, if spending 120 scrap on one amazing upgrade is going to work out so, so much better for you. It's, it's my philosophy, at least, so this is not the end of the world, and we are strong enough to take out every ship that we've encountered so far. There's been a couple of ones that were a little bit touch and go, but for the most part, it's been pretty, pretty easy going for us, so honestly, I don't, I don't really mind. I would rather spend on a crazy good weapon or a crazy good augment uh, like the pre-igniter a little bit later than spend it on an extra 10% dodge chance now, which doesn't really benefit me very much in the in the short term. In the long term, that might end up making a huge difference, of course. That's a pretty good surrender offer because it has eight missiles in it, so I'm going to take it. And we'll jump over here and then here. Turns out I probably could have made it to the exit, to be honest with you, because the, uh, the fleet uh, catches you slower in a nebula, but I forgot about it. This is a Zoltan Peace Envoy. Sure, I'll hear them out. Now, oh, added a quest marker to our map for the next sector. That's good, because I might be able to get a Zoltan crew member there, or have something cool happen at least. And uh, that was the end of our, our trip through that area. Did it go well? I think it went okay. How can they add a quest marker to our next sector if even we don't know what our next sector actually is? Huh, games? A little immersion breaking, don't you think? I'm obviously being facetious, but I have to say that I'm being facetious because a lot of people on the internet are actually like that. Now, uh, the other reason thing I wanted to talk about with respect to like what the new stuff I've been doing in FTL is, is that um, I really uh, like messing around. Oh, because I left the doors there. That's going to be... I get it. Uh, I really like messing around with mind control. It's just such a good defense against so many things. Like, someone uh, is about to go on you from a teleporter. You just say, like, mm, tell you what, no. You're actually, um, you're actually mind-controlled now, so good luck. This ship that they have, by the way, is incredibly strong. Uh, many, many lasers can fire. Um, but that's okay, because we'll send Mantis into the medbay here, which is permanently powered up. And then we'll send our weapons personnel in to hopefully finish the fight against this Mantis. Who's hurt? It's the Mantis. He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Land another Artemis on the shields in here. And they've taken their Mantis off, which seems like a very smart idea. And uh, I guess my Artemis did not land. Maybe it collided with theirs midair. We'll see. It's not going to be an easy fight necessarily, but we're doing fine. Uh, we started a fire in their uh, shields room, which is why I just kept attacking them actually, because I wanted to see if uh, maybe we could do even more damage. Not only keep those shields down, but also just irritate the shit out of the people that are in the room. And that's why I'm going to hit them again with the burst laser there. Maybe take out the, all the crew. Well, I took out the NG at least. You should probably get into the med bay for a second, and I um, have to imagine they're probably pretty interested about leaving, but I, I could almost kill them without uh, killing the ship here, but not quite. That's okay. Cool, 37 scrap is a really good payout, actually, for that point, or for this point in the game. So we're going to go Distress Beacon. I'm jumping as fast as I can to try to find a store to spend some of the scrap at, because, you know, as much as I've said that, um, yeah, we'll dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. 18 scrap for two damage is actually, we actually made money on that, weirdly enough. There we go, we have 125 scrap and can go to the store. As much as I've said that saving scrap is good, you don't want to save it any longer than necessary. Uh, unfortunately, we already have crew members, so we don't need to get any, uh, any of these crew members. What I will say is I'll buy some fuel. Like so. Then we'll take a look at these weapons. We have a Breaching Bomb Mark II, slower than the Mark I, 
17 seconds, but does more damage to systems and crew. Can target your own ship. Breaching chance is super uh, annoying for the enemy, but I really like the flak gun. Fires a debris, uh, or fires a blast of debris across a random area, dealing up to three damage. Good at taking down shields, but hard to aim. And then the hull beam also takes two power. Most powerful when targeting large, empty sections of hull. Is hull our problem? I think shields might end up being our problem. So I'm gonna go with the flak gun. We'll buy that. Do we have anything to sell? Not at all. And uh, we're gonna need two more weapon power and two more reactor power to get this to get this up. But I think what we can do is depower Artemis, then take one level of uh, of weapon power. And then depower the med bay, and then there we go. We've got a, a flak cannon and a burst laser active, which is going to give us uh, five. Basically, if they have four bars of shields and we hit everything, we can take them out. Plus, now we're um, saving missiles that we can use in the late game. I didn't even know what happened to our door system. That got hit by something. Apparently, I didn't even notice. Obviously, our NG is uh, really effective at uh, stopping that, so we'll get that sorted out. What's the next thing we want to get? Third level of shields would be nice. More reactor power, basically essential, obviously. Um, that's, I mean, uh, more systems. A cloaking, a hacking, a mind control. Like, one of those three would be great. So here's the uh, the Mantis situation that we've got going on. They're going to um, they're gonna teleport onto the ship here, which seems like a really silly idea by my standards. But it's like, what? We're just, oh, yeah, because I left the door system, they were totally able to just do that, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll send two in to fight him. That will make our doors worse, but that's okay, because this Mantis is going to die. So the Flat Cannon, the, the problem with it is that it's really slow. So here we go. We sh we'll shoot the uh, the Flat Cannon, and it did very well. It took down the shields. Lasers are very fast, so now we're going to go on weapons. And there we go. So there was lots of damage, obviously, done there uh, on both sides. But for my money, I think we came out a little bit stronger. Even though our shields are... Ooh, that's, that's not good. Uh, even though our shields are in kind of a weird position... I think we came out stronger. I should really pay more attention to the way the weapons are going. They only have one crew member left, too, so here's what I'm thinking. Flat cannon. It'll take down shields. Then hit them on the weapons. Oh, never mind. Uh, the, the NG moved into the other room before I could uh, before I could do the right thing there. Now, where's the fire here? Oh, that's the perfect location for a fire to be, to be honest with you. All right. These fires should go out in just a second. The flat cannon's back. Oh, they have a clone bay. I didn't realize. Should have paid closer attention to that, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, shields down. And you know what? We'll fire on the clone bay because they're all going to die anyway. And we'll close all doors. Good, good, good. And now we'll open all doors so oxygen can flow throughout the ship a little bit better. And I would love to put the mantis and the human in the med bay, but we, we can't because we don't have time for that. Uh, more solar flares we'll encounter. Oh, that wasn't even the quest beacon. This is the quest beacon. All right, so what happens here? Uh, you arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. We'll attempt to hail them. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you can say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy that as there's those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation. Surrender. Your ultimate destruction is inevitable, or you, your rebellion is causing millions of deaths. Let's take uh, reconciliation. Our ideals are too different to be so easily re reconciled. Do you think this could end any way but war? The galaxy is huge. You can find a place for your ideals elsewhere without causing destruction. Or true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Let's try a true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Uh, hey, they gave us the Zoltan shield and a um, and some scrap. But really, the coup there is the Zoltan shield. This is such an effective protector against uh, missiles that I am actually genuinely thinking that maybe we have a chance of, of making something good happen on this run now. Because now, the, the first missiles that come in... Well, let me put it this way. Normally, what's been the determining factor in our fights so far? Whoever's missiles land first, and whoever's missiles land in the best position. Uh, has basically been what determines who gets the momentum early in the fight, and then who ends up behind the eight ball forever. Now, the first, like, two missiles that they shoot are not going to do any damage at all. And if they miss, it gets even better. Uh, so, I, I think this is really great for us. It gives us a way better opportunity to actually use our flat cannon, and uh, get the burst laser in there, and just start surgically cutting them down. The great thing about the flat cannon, by the way, uh, their shields are about to completely go out, and so are mine, to be fair, but... Uh, let's see. Are they gone? They're gone. So now we fire on weapons super quickly. Our shields somehow managed to live through that, which is comical to me. Uh, but our energy shield went down. Maybe that's what happened there. Alright, so now what do we do? Close all doors. Mantis in the med bay. Come chase me down, fucker. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just fight them in the weapons room, then? We'll, we'll be strong enough to take them out. Now, get the flat cannon going. They have no shields, so I'm actually just going to fire the flat cannon into their weapons area. That's going to start some fires. That's going to... I mean, the crew is probably a little bit, um... 
you know, dis disenfranchised with how this whole run is going right now, considering every everything they've ever known is on fire. Um, our weapons are completely taken out, though. I mean, so are theirs, but still not ideal. Okay, their, their crew is gonna die. Oh, they teleported away. Okay, so get get into the med bay. We don't need anyone in the weapons room while it's not even working. So, no shields and no weapons is is kind of hilarious. But now no door control either. Wonderful. But as long as we can just get in like another shot before the end of this, what are they gonna do? I mean, look at these. They're they're all super low health. Shields are back, but ion pulse is coming in. And uh, that took down our weapons completely. Fantastic. Kind of just want to jump away because this fight is frustrating, but I'm pretty sure that we will be able to uh, that we will be able to do something here at some point. So we'll wait for our shields to come back, power those bad boys up, I guess, and again here. All right, so we actually will have an opportunity to use our weapons. I think our shields are completely down, so are theirs. But at least our ship isn't on fire, which is slowly going to cause them to experience hull damage. And now you know what? Let's fire on their oxygen. <laughs> I can't believe that that basically missed. Uh, the other reason I'm going to fire on their oxygen is so that they um, maybe have a good chance to die without actually uh, being killed, like without their hull actually dying. Like there, we killed that guy, and now he maybe, just maybe, might die of asphyxiation or fire. We'll see. Because that would be very n a nice way for me to possibly get more scrap. And it looks like he is taking damage. It's hard to tell. 17. And she is taking damage. Okay, the fire actually just tore their hull up. Um, so, you know, admirable attempt maybe, but didn't quite work out. And I jumped just before the ion pulse could come in, thankfully. Um, let's dock and try to rescue the survivors. We got a rock man crew member. Uh, he's going to go in our oxygen room just because those are usually the most problematic fires. And rock men are great at putting out fires. Well, what, you know what? What's Jones good at? Engines. Is he better than our current engine personnel? Yes, so he, uh, but he's also a good fireman. I don't know. We'll see. Dodge percent chance right now is 29. What if we try this out? We get 32. Sure, you know what? 3% dodge chance. Might as well. Um, we won't quite jump to the exit yet. 114 scrap is an awful lot. I'm excited about that. Getting something good going here. Um, okay, a young man just in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. I'm going to offer up the Mantis in exchange for a bounty because I want scrap. Don't give two shits about whose side you're on and I don't need a Mantis crew member. We already have one. So I think scrap is better. Um, we did find a store here. This is good. They have no crew members. That kind of sucks. Uh, I think I, I would love to get maybe a system repair drone. No. I would love to get a hacking unit. I like I like hacking. Works out very well. Stun bomb charge laser. I like both of them, but our weapons seem fine for now because we have that Zoltan energy shield. There are some drones. If there was like a defense drone too, I might buy drone control and that, but instead I think we're just going to buy the hacking unit. And uh, we're going to pick up maybe like a second level of it. And then we can only get one extra bar of reactor power, but by depowering this a little bit, there we go. We do need more reactor power if possible. We could really just use a Zoltan crew member, to be honest with you. And uh, we'll, we're will we at the exit, so we'll go to the next sector. And we don't really have too much of a choice here. Oh, you know what? We only have to go through one nebula if we go this way. So sure, let's go to the NG Homeworlds. I think there's cool events there anyway. So we're on Sector 5 or something like that. To be honest with you, this run has gone better than I would have expected. I think we're in a pretty good position to have a decent chance to get another uh, alien... Crew member, um, offer your help. Added a quest marker, sure. Added a quest marker, sure. Do I have two quest markers? I do. We should probably bum rush them because um, it will be uh, difficult for me to get to those in time. Now, I would love to get a third bar of shields, but it's not totally 100% necessary. I would have preferred to buy mind control, by the way. Uh, it's not 100% necessary for us to get to the... Um, uh, I actually forgot what I was going to say. Okay, there we go. It's not 100% necessary for us to get to the third level of shields as quickly as we would usually want to because we do have that Zoltan energy shield, but it's still a good idea. So I just pause for a second here because we are going to want to hack these guys. Probably want to go on shields because the Zoltan energy shield will protect us from, from their weapons for a while. And just as soon as, um, as, soon as the flat cannon charges up here, we'll, uh, we'll start doing quite a number on them. So there comes the hack. Um, at level 2, then we'll get uh, some serious damage coming in on their weapons here. They're not going to like this very much, I think. Yeah, it's pretty bad for them. Lots, lots of fires. 
disregard that me if you just heard Steam make like a blinky thing. Again, I was away for two days, so Steam decided every setting I ever had with respect to please don't let strangers contact me while I'm recording a video is hereby moot because I must have died and now someone with my exact IP address has taken over. Um, but yes, I, I digress to say the least. Demand information on the stolen technology. Yes, please. Um, so that's what you're after. Too bad you followed the wrong ship. The envoy that passed here was a fake to trick fools like you. Now let us go. Um, this isn't the Smash 2013 Disney animated hit Frozen, so I'm not gonna let you go. Instead, I'm just, oh. You know, it's one of those things where I'm pretty sure that if I let them go, they might be like, hey, here's what, we, we'll actually uh, help you, because you're so generous, but you know, I like to treat people in video games as I would treat them in real life, and they're like, ha ha, you fools, and I'm like, well, you just kind of sound like a dick, so I'm gonna kill you like a dick, basically. It's my philosophy on things. We have a very powerful ship now with the hacking and the the everything and the whole everything that goes along with that. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. What are the main little, you know, splinters? What's the, the flies in the ointment? Low drone parts. We hailed this refugee ship. I knew we'd end up attacking them, but I still think it's worth it. Um, more drone parts would be incredible, but we don't have them yet. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty good, honestly. Flat cannon's about to get ready to fire, so we're gonna just use hacking right away. And then, of course, we go on the weapons area because the. I mean, if we take out their weapons, they can't even get through our uh, Zoltan energy shield, so that sucks pretty hard for them. Um, another flat cannon's gonna be good to go. The, the thing I like about the flat cannon is uh, the off chance that we actually hit with every single shot of it, they actually can't get through. Um, or we, it actually can get through their shields and do damage all by itself. Trust me when I say this. Like, small human man, you do not want to do what you're trying to do right now. I feel so bad for this NG crew member and the Zoltan who was trying to get in, and he's like, Wait, why do we unlock the door, motherfucker? I'm trying to save our, our ship here. Oh, that's that's bad for you. That is a bad thing that is happening to you right there. Um, so we'll just fire on the clone bay, and it'll probably kill them. Yeah. Flat cannon can do some serious damage when shields are out and dodge chance is low. So that takes us up to 101 scrap, which is very good. Decent chance we'll encounter a store along the way here. Of course we have to deal with Ion Pulses. Okay, then that is a ship that scares the fuck out of me with respect to its weapons. Two charge lasers, a hull smasher, and what is probably a pike beam. Now, our, our Zoltan energy shields should go down with the Ion Pulse. Uh, not as much as I thought they would, but that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can land a flat cannon uh, and just take out their energy shield. Now that we've done that, we can actually um, use a hacking tool, land this on their shields. Come on, you can do it. Uh, shields now will go down, and we'll fire uh, everything we've got on weapons. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, you can do it. Hey, we took out weapons and oxygen, that's really good. And uh, our weapons are still up, but our hacking system is down. But this is okay, because we can still uh, get in a good a good shot here. Okay, that is that is a nasty amount of damage, especially with our door system broken. Where's the Rockman? Rockman's repairing the engine. Tell you what, we'll repair the engine. Rockman, go in here and try to put out the fire. Uh, let's try to hit their piloting system, I guess. There we go. Probably should have tried to keep their beam offline, actually. That was a stupid choice for me. Because their beam can do so much damage. They're going to try to escape. They're not going to have a chance to do that. I am going to accept their offer for surrender, though. And we're just going to open up these doors now. And I think Rockman's gonna be able to do this. Oh, can we jump away before that actually hits me? Or did I just... No, we're gonna have no shields for this next encounter. Please don't be a ship. Hey, nothing. Um, yeah, let's, sure, let's give them five missiles. They've given us 19 scrap as a result. I didn't want to give them 15, because we'll end up using 15 missiles. Um, th th we'll end up using those 15 missiles, I should say, uh, for ourselves. But, sure. That's fine. This has actually worked out pretty well. And we never have to repair our ship because of that ship repair. Um, option we have. Let's check out this distress beacon. Oh, I did not mean to jump yet. She oh, shields did come back. Thank fucking god. Okay, so they're trying to get away. This is gonna be a close one. Might wanna hack their piloting system first, actually. Less worried about survival than I am about uh, actually just staying alive here. This will lower their dodge chance a lot as well. So we'll um, hack into that, and then the flat cannon and burst laser on weapons should be able to do quite a number. Tur their current evasion is zero, so we're gonna hit every single shot. So their weapons are gonna be in a, a quite a state for them here. So what do we hit next? Uh, I think we try flat cannon on shields, like that. Oh, that all three hit, and then we go on engines with the burst laser. Oh, it should have been faster than that. That's my bad. Uh, but at least it did delay their FTL. Now hacking's gonna be up relatively soon. 
We're gonna fire a flat cannon on weapons just to try to hurt their crew a little bit. I shouldn't shoot the flat cannon until I'm almost ready to shoot the burst laser. Luckily, it does charge up pretty quickly, so just give it a second. They're not gonna get away. Not gonna let them get away. We're about to be able to hack, too. Here comes the hack. Their evasion's gonna go down to five. Let's go on the engine system. Okay. Demand information on the stolen technology. Of course, that's why you're here. Yes, they passed by here, but I had nothing to do with it. I don't know what they were carrying. I'll transmit coordinates. We got another quest marker. I wonder if this gives us, like, an amazing weapon if we actually complete this quest. Let them go. Sure. Fantastic. We got a quest... I... There's a chance I can get to this beacon and then still get back, so we're gonna try. I at least have an out if I take this way. Let's see. Um, let's attack the automated ship. It's... Oh, that halberd beam's a pain in the butt, but luckily I do have, uh... I do have my energy shield, which will protect me from, like, the first beam and the first laser, which is good, because they're gonna basically get a free shot, so we're pretty much even here. Um, I'd like to avoid using a drone part if possible, for reasons that should be fairly obvious, I think. Uh, come on, come on, come on. And one of these. They, they you know, they can, oh, they can cloak for as long as they want. I don't really care. Come on, hacking system. Don't miss. There we go. And they're almost gonna be charged, so that's when we do that. And that will at least keep their halberd beam offline. Maybe long enough to coincide with the cloak. At least long enough for me to get my second bar of shields back up. And um, when their cloak is done, then we can fire in on that again. And that's good news, I think. There we go. So now they only have a laser active. So they basically should not have a chance to hit me. It's possible that we might want to... Oh. You know what? Don't fire the burst laser yet. Fire the flat cannon first. I've got to be more uh, precise and uh, smart about the the way that I choose. Oh, they have three shots actually. That's pretty nice for them. Uh, I got to be more precise and uh, conscious of the kind of synchronicity of the flat cannon and the burst laser. It's stupid of me to just use uh, to just use them like whenever they're ready. Like w whenever one of them is ready, use it because uh, they work so much better when they synergize with one another. So I think that was a smart attack. We got a lot of scrap and some other resources. Ooh, I think we'll be able to make it back to the exit by going to this quest marker. We'll see, though. Let's see. Oh, that is uh, it's a large ship, but it looks more intimidating than it actually is, I think. Now, they're probably not going to try to get away. So what am I going to do? We're going to hack their shield systems. Like so. And we're not going to we're not gonna use it yet. This, our shield man should definitely get into the med bay. That's stupid of me to not... Uh, handle him like that, and that's gonna lower our dodge chance by a little bit, but that's okay. So we're gonna hack, and then Flat Cannon's gonna shoot on the weapons. It didn't really hit, but our laser has, like, a pure shot. That was pretty good, I'd say. So you get back here now. Um, we'll take our med bay down, and dodge chance goes up by five or so. Uh, our energy shield is still protecting us. It's great news. Okay, so what do we do now? Flat Cannon on their weapon systems. Shields go down. Burst laser's almost ready to go. Again, that was kind of stupid of me to Mess up the timing again. Let's pay closer attention this time. We do still have our energy shield, and Hack is about to come back. All right, so we're ready. Come on, a lot of these are going to hit. All of them hit. That's what I want to see. Their crew is going to die. One of their crew members died, and they have no weapons. That's good. So uh, we will get ready to start another Hack. We're not going to be able to kill all crew members, but that's fine. We haven't been able to kill all crew members like this entire time. So I think we'll flat cannon like here in the engine room because it might hit weapons. It might also hit med bay. Uh, and maybe we'll just shoot on like oxygen. Might be smarter to shoot on shields. But again, I just want to mess with them a little bit. I want to cause as much terror as is possible. And it's working out nicely so far, I would say. Now we may actually shoot on the shield room. Cause some problems for that dude in there. No one's coming to help him. Easy kill for us. What do we get? Ask about the Mantis ships. Transmit. Okay. Likely ployed by rebels to avoid breaking non-aggression pact with Angie. 97.56% likely. Your mission is to assist last Federation fleet. Correct. Coordinates. Transmit coordinates of Federation command. So we got... Oh, we got the Lanius cruiser! I don't know why, but that's great! Uh, so we got titanium system casing. We also got a stealth cruiser quest. Um, so let me see. Satisfactory delivery of tech will assist in Federation cause. Gratitude alone is sufficient. Commencing ship repair and compensation. Their crews deliver an advanced augmentation for installation, but you're more pleased to hear that the Federation will have an improved arsenal. The NG's secret tech has been delivered to the hangar. The stealth ship has been unlocked. Fuck yes. Okay. Let's take a second here. We have 235 scrap. That's wonderful. What is that titanium ship casing? All ship systems have an additional plating that provides a 15% chance to negate damage when hit. That seems really, really useful. Of course, it, as it said, we'll still take hull damage, but still 
We just unlocked two new ships, uh, the Lanius Cruiser and the Stealth Ship, and we might still be able to get a third if I can buy a Zoltan crew member. Do we need... We need a Zoltan crew member and a Lanius crew member, I think, actually. But anyway, here we go, on to uh, Sector 6. Long run so far, but that's okay, because it's been a productive one as well. We have 235 scrap. I don't see a store nearby. That tells me it's time to upgrade a little bit. And uh, you know what? I am going to upgrade uh, weapons and reactor. Reason I would do that is so I can power up this Artemis, and now we can start using these missiles effectively. Uh, I think I should definitely get one more level of that and two levels of reactor power there. That way we can keep 46% uh, dodge chance, which is crazy good. And now with only 60 scrap, maybe we'll save that and see if we can buy something from the next shop. Now, nebulas are a clusterfuck. We could still pretty easily end up dying here. This is okay. I'm gonna say attack the pirate. I think we're, we're much stronger right now than, than the vast majority of ships that we're gonna come across. Uh, I'm gonna do my best not to use drone parts, but you know what? I think I'm totally okay to use missiles. We'll see if we need to. Uh, if the flat cannon hits, which it does, and then we can hit weapons right after. See, that works out pretty well. We'll also try using uh, an Artemis missile maybe on... We don't need to, though. Let's drop a flat cannon here. Like that, and then, um... Burst laser's not ready. That was, that was kind of stupid of me. Let's Artemis the weapons and then get ready to burst laser the shields, I guess. I don't know. I really wanted to stop that Pegasus missile from shooting, but I guess we have a Zoltan energy shield up. Actually, truth be told, it was probably a, a pretty stupid decision of me there. Um, because as long as the energy shield's up, we don't have to worry about getting hit. So let's just take a second, let everything recharge. In particular, we want flak and burst going at the same time. So we have to wait for the burst laser to be ready. So, if only the hull laser is online right now. Um, then I'm mostly concerned about hitting their shields, so we can more easily hit other things in the future. Oh, the hull laser actually shoots twice, but it missed on both of them, which is exceptionally bad luck for them, but exceptionally good luck for me. With shields uh, still active, I figured we would take that out, and um, you know what? That's a pretty decent offer with respect to fuel and, and missiles, so I'll take it. And the reason, again, uh, for me not spending scrap immediately is because I figure it's best for us to hold maybe 80 to 100 just in case we find a sweet weapon or augment in the in the future. Navigating the blind fog, you practically scrape hulls or bump hulls with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pa, this transgression will be overlooked. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. There won't be a next time open fire or this place is dangerous enough. Move along. Now, I said I like to play video games the same way I like to live my real life. And if someone bumps into me on the street, fuck them. Set phasers to kill. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Okay, they have a... They're gonna teleport onto our ship, if I had to guess. If they can, in a nebula. Um, they have a little bit of a scary ship, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mostly because of that ion. Um, but if you ignore the ion, then I think uh, they're not gonna be able to do very much damage because they have to get through our shield first. Wow, okay, big misses. Artemis is gonna go on the shields then, because I want to make sure that we can do as much damage as possible. Flat cannon is ready, but we're gonna wait for the burst laser. There we go, flat cannon goes. Does quite well. Energy shield is still up, so I'm just gonna focus on taking out shields first so we can shoot our flat cannon without shooting the laser along with it. It didn't really work out. Uh, our energy shield is down, so now I think I'm gonna Artemis the shields and see if we can flat cannon burst laser and, and ruin their lives. Where are they? I can't tell. Oh, they're in this room. That's the worst teleportation of all time. Okay, flat cannon on weapons, burst laser on piloting system so they can't dodge any more shots. That worked out very well for us. They only have charge laser now, which should not even let them do any damage. Um, yeah, I, that's smart. I would leave. Re better to die on your own ship than die on mine. We'll aim on oxygen with this, because it should hit weapons as well, maybe. There we go. They're dead. Easy fight. That's what you get for being a dick, Mantis. And over here will allow us to jump and not be in a nebula, which is, you know, two of my favorite things, I'd say. Uh, this is a store... They offer to upgrade your doors in exchange for 10 scrap. That is a smoking deal, so I will take that uh, any day of the damn week. I mean, I, that does take us to third level doors, which is maybe a little bit overkill, but whatever. You know what would make this easier? Because they have some, some strong ship components here. They also have a teleporter, which is, sucks, but whatever. I figure we'll just hack the shields, uh, and as a result of that, um, our flat cannon, burst laser, Artemis combination is just going to be stupid good. And we'll just wait for that, and that, and that, and basically I didn't narrate any of that because uh, it was it was a moot point. They're all gonna die. We'll try hitting the shields again with this, just so flat cannon is even better. Oh, they actually managed to get into the door, uh, much to my surprise. It's okay, we'll try one of these bad boys. 
Worked out pretty nicely. Why don't we just shoot on shields again? I like the idea that that slug is basically going to be trapped in there with a breach and uh, low health and, and lots of problems. And we could shoot, but instead of that, I'm actually just going to wait for the hack, which is now. This dude can't get out, so he's about to die. Flat cannon's going to go. Did a great job, uh, and we'll... Um, why don't we hit this oxygen system as well? That's going to make life pretty hard. Um, not, not a good enough offer for surrender. If they offered me, like, maybe even one drone part, I'd probably take it. But, truth be told, that's just, uh, that was a terrible offer that they put on the table there. So, Flat Cannon did mostly what it has to do, and we'll finish the job. That's what you get for being a pirate. 47 scrap for me. And we also got scans of the area, I think, so I could avoid combat or seek it out if I wanted to. And there is a store, so, actually, the most important things for me, I think, seek combat. Because combat is something that the ship excels at right now. Um, that looks like a nasty ship. But the weapons don't look that crazy. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> but the weapons don't look that crazy, so I'm going to avoid it. No, um, I, I wanted to attack it. The reason I wanted to go for combat, by the way, I mean, I think it's probably maybe obvious at this point, but going for combat gives you more scrap usually, better, in more interesting rewards. What a terrible, like, three-sector jump there. Um, but, yeah, it's a, I, that seemed like a smart idea to me. Could get cloaking. Um, this store otherwise doesn't have anything for me. I love all of our augments, so I'm not going to sell anything. Not that I would want anything in the first place. Yeah, you know, cloaking seems like it would be a great thing to pick up. Drone control comes with defense drone mark one. We're already using a lot of drone parts to hack. There we go, and, you know, buy another one drone part there. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to need to spend a lot of scrap to upgrade ourselves here, but even having one level of cloaking... If we can, it's almost like having, having a weapon pre-igniter. We can wait for all three of our weapons to charge. Because we're in uh, a situation where I, um, just give me a second here to micro this. Uh, because we're in a situation where I want to fire basically all of my weapons at once, it's, it's nice to have cloak, because then I can just come out of the cloak and fire them and not worry about the, uh, not worry about the repercussions. So, um, yeah, we, you know what, we'll just cloak right off the bat here. And it won't last very long, obviously. Now, there was an option there, and if you're an uh, astute viewer, you probably saw it, but there was an option there to, uh, buy a Zoltan crew member, because, but because I spent so much scrap, we just missed with all three of those, I think. Because we spent so much scrap, uh, at the store, on the cloaking system, I, it's actually not gonna be possible, so, um, that, that sucks really, really hard, obviously. Because that would have get, put in us, or put in? That would have put us, uh, a lot closer to actually reaching the point where um, I can get that next cruiser, but that's whatever. It's, it, it is what it is. Now that our shields are down, I'm going to land an Artemis shot on their weapons, hopefully. Good hit. Uh, Halberd Beam can still do quite a number on us. They have a really nice uh, ion weapon. And we could use the drone part to hack, but I don't think it'll be necessary. So here's what I'm thinking. Wait for a second. Flat cannon on this. Please tell me... Oh, their laser is charged. Did they, they missed. Okay. I'm just going to try to land a shot uh, on their shields quickly, maybe kill this Mantis, and as soon as those shots come out, I can cloak again. And they're going to give us another crew member, but because we already have a rock crew member, I'm, I'm going to say surrender is not an option. So we'll have a second to cloak here and actually get uh, back into a good position for ourselves. Now that we come out of it, flat cannon right here, and that did basically what I needed it to do. Fuck this man. Oh, that Mantis was already dead, but so is everybody on their ship now. This is the seventh sector. This has gone very well so far. Now, there is a store. We'll check it out. Maybe there could be a pre-igniter. I would sell the uh, ship repair uh, augment for a... Um, we, there's no way we're going to ever afford any of this stuff and still do what we want to do. By the way, as cool as mind control would be, I think it's way smarter for us to just upgrade the systems we already have. But anyway, uh, there's no weapon pre-igniter either, so... Let's just buy as many drone parts as we can so I don't feel as wary about hacking. And uh, we will upgrade our reactor once. <laughs> It gives us an extra 5% dodge chance. Yeah, 5% dodge chance. That's pretty good, man. 5% dodge chance is nothing to sneeze at. One in every 20 missiles is going to miss. That can help out a lot. That can be the difference between life and death. Um, yeah, we will always attack Lania's ships. Now it's starting to seem like not such a great idea, given the kind of crazy firepower that they have. But just wait. And as soon as they shoot, we'll cloak. We managed to avoid all their shit there. Uh, I'm going to hack their shield systems just because they have a lot of them. And since we're still cloaked, I should have some time here for my weapons to charge. Like so. And our energy shield is still up, so let's hack those shields. Let's get the flat cannon and the Artemis going on weapons here. Did enough, and then um, take out those weapons just so they can't be a major threat to me. Our energy shield is still up too, which is great. Now, what do we do here? Um, I think Artemis on shields is still the, the smart man's play almost every time. That actually hit, despite them cloaking, which is crazy. 
Rockman is mind controlled. It's gonna really lower our evasion chance as he slowly destroys our own engines. Hell of a guy. Now we're gonna cloak a little bit so they can't come out of their cloak and just hit us. This will also give us time to get a hack up. Um, man, their cloak lasted longer. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. These guys don't need oxygen, so I'm a little concerned about that, but just wait. And we'll use our hack. Uh, and now that the hack's working, try to get one of these bad boys in here. Um, they did hit our sensor system, which is mar largely meaningless from my standpoint. Uh, now they hit our hacking system, that's a little bit more dangerous. So let's wait for sensors to be back up, which they now are. And we'll go back to the system down here and we'll get this fixed up. And flat cannon's ready and Artemis is ready, so let's land an Artemis. Let's land a flat cannon if possible. And our cloaking system is now going to be out. But we'll try to hit their weapons this time. Okay, their weapons are still yellow. They have, like, the most weapon power I have ever goddamn seen. Please don't take out my oxygen system. Please don't take out my oxygen system. Mantis, uh, you should run. It's alright. Uh, we're, we're okay. We can't really hack the weapon system right now, I think. Oxygen's gonna be a concern for me. Uh, okay, so let's, one Artemis will kill them, so just wait a second here. We'll hack them just in case. There we go, we're, we're fine. Oxygen's gonna get fixed. We got like 200 scrap for that, that's pretty good. Please do... <laughs> Alright, so I'll send this human into this med bay to just shoot this, like, Lanius crew member once. And then we'll wait for the oxygen to come back in just a second here. Oxygen only got down to 63%, which truth be told is not even that bad. Should get in here. Get the med bay powered up, and uh, we got a lot of people to heal, admittedly. So, let's get that done. Who else is low? You're low. Oh, you? Oh, no, you were, you were healing. You're low. So, why don't we put you, like, here. And we'll get a little line of uh, med bay people. I'm not even going to put the rock man in the med bay, just because he's... The most annoying and slow character in the game. What about it? everyone else? Is pretty good. All right. Oh, the NG we should send in there because he's weak, but also like a glorious repair man. So it's nice to have him functioning close to to perfect. Why are you not healing? Oh, you are. I was looking at the rock man. Sorry. Okay. Uh, 118 scrap. I'm still waiting for a store, basically, but the third level of shields is something that I need to get to too. Uh, obviously, we're dealing with a lot of lasers and ions, which are super annoying. You know what? Ask if they require assistance. Give them 30 scrap. I did it, they gave me a shield charge booster. Makes our shield charge 15% faster. I honestly think what we have right now works out well for us, so we'll just consider that a 30 scrap gamble that failed miserably. And that's okay, that happens. Who dares wins, right? All right, lots of drones, obviously. That's that's annoying. Uh, we don't cloak yet, I think. We wait for the, maybe the flat cannon to shoot. They have four levels of shields, so it's not really debatable. If a drone will land, I think it has to land on shields. And they shot it down. So what we'll probably end up doing here is um, cloaking when they shoot the flat cannon and uh, laser. Give it a second. Give it a second. I, well, I mean, we'll see if we can fit in some shots of our own, but I really doubt it. We only <laughs> managed... They can actually shoot down the flat cannon, which is crazy. Um, so is their flat cannon coming in yet? We still have an energy shield. There it comes. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, cloak out of that. And they'll all miss. That was like a four shotter too. That's kind of crazy. And now we'll just jump away to be honest with you. It's kind of a little baby's way of handling things. But there was no way we were going to get out of that fight in a good way. So that's okay. We won't be able to cloak on this fight right away. Which is annoying as well. But again, you do what you got to do. I think we should definitely hack shields. That's not a comment about uh, the Lady Brook Shields either. Is she? She's probably not landed. What am I talking about? Okay. So let's see if these uh, hacks and missiles work. Seems to have done a pretty bang up job. At least it banged them up pretty well. We really need to get this third bar of shields up uh, sooner rather than later. Oh, none of those flat cannon shots hit. That's okay because we can cloak out of their shots as well if we can. If we have to, I should say. So ions are coming and a bunch of lasers just went off. So. Figure we'll just wait until the flat cannon's ready, and that'll coincide with our cloak ending anyway. Flat cannon goes here. Worked perfectly fine. And then everything else will send in like so. Alright. Uh, the missile even stunned them a little bit too. Which is nice. Now we will wait momentarily for the burst laser to charge up. And maybe Artemis as well. And then we'll hack. And flack. Hack. <laughs> hack, flack, and laser is such... Like, not only the name of the greatest law firm of all time. Oh, shit. That sucked. Uh, we're still going to win, but it's annoying. Not only the name of the greatest law firm of all time, but also just feels good rolling off the tongue, doesn't it? Hack, flack, and laser. 
Who do you have representing you? Because I, I would completely be okay letting a guy named Laser handle my litigatable issues. So let's see. Looks like it's going pretty okay. They're going to surrender. It's a really shitty surrender offer for level 7. Going to cloak out of their shots and give me a second to, to get charged up here. So this is good. This is good news. Flat cannon's almost ready. Um, we're out of cloak, which sucks. But we can now hack their shields. Uh, now that hack, flak, and laser are back. Hack, flak, and laser are back. I'm, I'm constructing a whole narrative here that I enjoy a great deal. Let's hit their cloak, actually, you know? That killed them. I didn't realize that, that was where they kept, uh, you know, a, like a big pile of broken glass or something that could explode and do some serious damage. I know I've talked about saving scrap, but I really think this third bar of shields has to go up maybe like now. Maybe like a second ago. They have a mind control unit too. Um, but it can't go through the Zoltan shield, which gives us some very nice protection. So we'll wait till they shoot maybe that... Eh, we'll wait till our shields are down and then we'll... Um, our, our energy shields are down and then we'll shoot the... Um, um, cloaking off. That's enough to take their weapons down. There we go. Got him to the yellow, started a fire. Rockman's gonna put out that fire pretty easily, but our shields are still up, so there's no reason for me to waste my time using cloak yet. I would say, oh, mind control has come in, though, on sensors, which is a weird one, but okay. By all means. That did a good job. This... I, I kind of bunged up the, uh, the execution here on the burst laser, so I'm just gonna save it. And you know what? We'll, um, we'll do flak, like that, and then shot, and then immediately cloak. How good is that mind control? Because that NG is doing some real damage. I, I really don't want to fight him. Hey, you get back in that room. Don't attack your friend, okay? Flak's up, so we're gonna she or we're gonna hack their shields, and uh, that's gonna be a problem for them because they just moved a lot of crew in there. And they're going to try to escape, which I think is a very smart and noble idea that is not going to work out. There we go. Took their piloting systems offline. Um, I mean, these are long fights. These are, these are drawn out. These are scary. They could easily go wrong. But they're not going wrong, which is good. That's, again, an absolutely horrible offer for surrender here. They actually have a breach. Oh, that sucks for me. We got to kill them, which is good. But it, it's actually amazing that we killed them when we did. Otherwise, we would have... Found ourselves in a truly awful position with our weapons being almost completely down. I really do not like our chances against a normal version of the Rebel flagship. That being said, you know, I, th I think we put up a pretty noble fight here. And we've got some new ships as well. We've got some, uh, we've, we've unlocked some stuff for the first time in a very long time. Let's close these doors. And, you know, anytime you get to Sector 7, I feel it's a, a, a normal Sector 8. Soon to be. I, I was counting my chickens before I hatched. I thought I was going to be out of this sector right now. Um, let's move in and examine the station. Some free scrap. I would like to get second or third level of cloaking. Same for hacking. If I'm going to be spending a drone part every time I use it, uh, I would like it if it worked as well as possible. Um, I will give them five missiles. And they, didn't, they repaired our hull. I did that because we're unlikely to have any trouble with missiles here. The main reason for that being that... Um, um, there, the, any, every, every, like, repair station that we go to is gonna give us missiles, so, no big deal. Um, for example, why don't we drop by this repair station, because we'll probably never get a chance to go to it again, and they'll be like, hey, here's, yeah, missiles, drone parts, etc., etc. So, we'll come this way. 21 fuel is enough, 13 drone parts is enough, fuel's enough, etc., etc. Obviously, there's a cloak here. They've got a really nasty supply of weapons, but... It's kind of irrelevant, because as soon as they shoot them and get through my energy shield, I'll just start cloaking. So we're going to actually hack uh, hack their weapons first, but we're going to go on their cloaks first, is my my philosophy on the matter. So, um, we don't even, since they have no shields, we don't need to time it properly even. We'll just hack weapons right now, because they're pretty close to getting through our shields. Their cloaking system is down, and this will be the end of their ship. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be able to offer anything in exchange for this, uh, or anything in return for this, so that's basically it. I'm not going to fire any more missiles, because it's actually possible that I could need 24 to get through the the first phase of the Rebel flagship. I hope it doesn't happen that way, but it's it's definitely beyond a theoretical possibility. You know what? Probably should have used some missiles there, now that I think about it. But we'll, we should have a good chance to get repaired. That's fine. 153. Yeah, everything's going to get fixed up. Should send some people to the med bay. They're not feeling so hot really like take forever here go ahead so I don't think we're gonna get the red uh, red tail that would be extremely unlikely at this point 
but that's okay too. I might as well power up the med bay if I'm actually going to end up using it. What do you think our chances are, YouTube? Low? I, w I would say not high is a pretty good example, or a pretty good estimate. But I do think, I, I'm very happy with this performance nonetheless. 153 scrap is enough to buy something else from a store as well. Or upgrade hacking and cloaking a little bit more. But are we going to be fighting the Rebel Flagship right now? No. So we will jump first before we do that. Just in case we end up uh, being able to buy something at a store in the future. So, good news. Yeah, we're going to hack because we have the drone parts necessary to do so. And I, I do think hacking shields is, is a little bit better than hacking weapons for the most part. So let's... Oh, why is Artemis depowered? That's so dumb. Let's get shields depowered now. And we'll get a flat cannon in there in just a second. It takes a second to get through those shield bars. But shooting now should be pretty good. That is pretty good. And now we can probably hit weapons. Wonderful. Okay, so they're, gonna, they're not going to have much to offer in exchange here. We'll fire an Artemis on their shields. And now we can just start working them down with our missiles. If they would actually hit. It's okay, though. And uh, maybe after we do this uh, attempt here, fire one of these bad boys in, uh, we'll start cloaking so we can just have basically a free chance to, to get another shot in here without them being able to mess with our business. Because the hack's going to be up soon too. And uh, so we'll hack and then we'll give it a second. And we'll try to hit the piloting system. And maybe we'll fire on engines as well just to... Make sure they can't get away. Really bad surrender offer. That seems to be the norm, unfortunately. Mostly unfortunately for them, to be honest with you, but so be it, I suppose. They had basically no dodge chance because their pilot wasn't in the room, and that is uh, 51 scrap for me. And there's a store! This could be the most important store ever. Let's see. Uh, they have some crew members. Truth be told, a mind control unit might not be the worst thing in the world right now. Explosive replicator is actually pretty good, but it's better when you get it early. The Hermes, Hermes would require more missile power, but it fires how much? Or it does more damage. Let me look at this for a second. What would be better? Mind control? Or a more powerful missile in, in instead of the Artemis? Because what would we need? We'd need two more weapon power. That would be like 125 or something. I, I don't think that's feasible. I think it's better to buy mind control. Drone control has a defense drone. We need so much power to use it, though. I think mind control is pretty good in this situation. We'll see, though. Full arsenal. There you go. I, I wonder if that'll actually give me the the other um, ship. I don't think it does, but it'd be nice. And we are going to fight the Rebel flagship in a second. Maybe next. So I do want to upgrade a little bit. And I think if we can upgrade cloaking and mind control and two power, oh, we're one scrap shy. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we'll we'll put that into mind control and depower the mid bay there. Eh, it'd still be nice to have one more reactor power. We should be able to make it happen. The base should give us some scrap, I'd have to imagine. Um Nope. And they're gonna Oh! What did I what did I jump to? I jumped back to the store? I could sell something for some more drone power, but that would be or for some more reactor power, but that'd be silly. Alright, that was weird. I meant to click wait, but I, I reacted poorly. Okay, so. You know the drill here. What's better? Second level mind control or an extra 5% dodge chance? I, I like the 5% dodge chance, to be honest. The mind control is basically just to mess with people, mess with the pilot, increase our chances of dodging. So, here we go. We hack shields. We mind control the pilot. And then we get ready for their shots to come in so we can cloak if we have to, if we can. Might as well. Uh, and that gives us time to get another charge up here. And we don't have stealth weapons, so just give it a second. Our, our hacking is going to start now. And that's going to bring that shit down. It's working. And then we come in here with basically like one of these. Hopefully shields go completely down. More or less. And then we go on their missile launcher with the burst laser and hopefully take it out. They cloaked instead. That sucks. They're hacking. They hacked our hacking. Which is actually pretty bad, but it could be worse. Um... Actually, that really sucks, because they managed to break our... Oh, okay, well, we resisted the damage there, at least. Uh, they managed to break our... Hmm. You know what? We're going back to the store for a second. We'll come back. Try it again. No shame in that. I think. <laughs> uh, don't need to hire any crew, that's for sure. Get a clone bay. That wouldn't really help us. 
Let's take a second to get our ion damage back, or gone, and then try this again. So, they only have one more turn until the base is destroyed. I hope I didn't just screw myself. No, okay, so we're gonna get one more chance at this. We can't jump away this time. So you know the drill. I'm gonna go for the extra level of mind control this time. We'll try it out. I think that could have still gone fine, but I thought, you know, there was a chance that it wouldn't, so why not mess with it a little bit? So they came out of cloak super quickly, I don't know why. Maybe I did damage to it earlier, but that doesn't really make any sense. Um, and we, we hacked their shields. No, we ha yeah, we hacked their shields. It looks like we hacked their pilot, but that's okay. And we're gonna cloak out of their uh, incoming first round here. Give me a chance to get everything charged up. And we'll just wait on it. And wait on it. And wait on it. Then we'll hack. And right about now, I would say, we want to get like one of these. And one of these in here. And that did quite a number on them. But they managed to cloak, which is more power to them. And then they hacked our mind control unit, which actually sucks pretty hard. Because now there's nothing I can really do about this rock man here. Starve him of oxygen. Um, it's a weird one. Let's put it that way. So Burst Laser is fully charged. I didn't shoot it last time because I didn't really get a chance. Uh, Rockman came back off, which is good. Are we going to be able to cloak as these missiles come in? Yes. Okay, that's important. Because our shields were gone. So we'll just take a second. That's fine. Uh, and their shields are actually super fucking vulnerable right now. Especially because I can hack them now. They're repairing, obviously, very quickly. But, Flat Cannon, Artemis, Burst Laser. I know I could have gone on their... Um, their missile launcher there, but that was so juicy, they had four crew members in the same room, it just seemed like a, would have been a little bit of a waste to not uh, go as hard as I could on their um, on their whole crew being in the same room. Uh, and they've kind of got it, well not their whole crew obviously, but anyway, uh, missiles are coming in. That's an issue, they did, they did hurt our hacking system, we should send the NG over there to replace that. It's more important than doors, you get back in here for the dodge chance, we should power this up too. Uh, okay, we can, we can take our shots now, Artemis and Flat Cannon. First, and we'll get ready to cloak, um, like, as soon as those missiles that they shoot come in. If they get to come in, because we just we just took their missiles offline. But you know what, we'll, we'll cloak our way out of their ion damage instead. That's, that's cool too. And we will be able to hack... Oh, our hacking got broken. Okay, that's, that's okay too. We'll power that up and um, get ready to use it when it's not completely fucked with ion damage. Uh, is good, I think? It seems pretty good to me. And I think we'll have, like, flat cannon here, because it does damage, and then we'll take out their ions, and then maybe we'll shoot on their cloaking. Well, we did manage to hit their cloaking, and we did manage to hit with the flat cannon, which is very surprising to me. Um, and it and has caused them some serious problems, as you are probably seeing right here. Um, that fire is gonna tear through them, and I think we're gonna get through the first phase of their, uh, the rebel flagship here. Didn't really run into too many problems with that, and, um... Sure, uh, I'm not going to fire any more missiles because we may need them for future fights. That went very well, I would say. Didn't take very much hull damage. Um, didn't get very much scrap out of it either, but that's okay. Make sure to fix everything up. Everyone's in relatively good health here. It's, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what to say because I'm kind of shocked. But that's okay. Why don't you just head back to your rooms like so. And... This is really not what I expected with my first run in a, in a long time. Oh, so the store is not there anymore because the Rebels have taken control of it. I thank him for his, his wonderful efforts regardless, though. So no cloaking anymore. I still think we hacked shields. That worked out so nicely for us last time. Oh, they shot it down. Okay, so we need to, we need to take out drone control before hacking will work. But we'll mind control the pilot. That's just how it goes. And um, we'll, we'll cloak our way out of the missiles as usual. What do we go on first here, though? There's no reason to waste an Artemis, I think, so... If they have a Defense Drone Mark II... Uh, if, you know what? If they have a Defense Drone Mark II, we should fire all of it at once. Is what I'm thinking. So we're going through Drone Control first here to hopefully have a chance to take out hacking. Um, we need to send a Mantis into the, the weapons room here to help fight. And can we take out hacking? Didn't do any damage at all. Okay, then. Uh, shots are coming in, so I'm just gonna cloak. I, I didn't know if the missiles had fired or not, but I figured... Better safe than sorry. Power surge detected scares the crap out of me. Uh, Mantis, why don't you come over into this room and we'll have uh, other human come help. No, Mantis, why don't you... Jones, why don't you come over to the med bay? There we go. Med bay's not powered up. We'll change that by drastically lowering our dodge chance. Okay, that's a lot of drones that they have. Um, so we're going to fire all this on this at once. 
It's very difficult for us to get through these shields. Here comes the three missiles, by the way. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Didn't do it at all. Fix it up, fix it up, close the doors. We did take out the drone. Okay, now you two have to get into the med bay. And maybe you should get into the weapons room for now. And uh, when that's fixed, we'll, we'll figure out where the hell we go from here. Because it's borderline impossible for me to do enough damage to actually take out their drone control unit. After we do, though, if we manage to... Oh, that was one miss too many there. Um, if we do manage to do it, we can create some serious problems for them. Again, we're going to send Mantis in here to deal with this man. And uh, I think this might be the end of us. It's looking like we're in a pretty rough spot here. Let's have the NG come over here and replace this. And you should probably go help him. Actually, you know what? We're going to send Mantis to the med bay. And this human, you're going to come over here and help. This human. Um, the shots are coming in, so I'm going to cloak. That's, that's my reasoning there. Uh, lots of drones as well. Hopefully they get taken care of. Uh, otherwise, we've got some issues. There we go. You, you should be dead. Uh, this human is almost dead as well. Why don't you run back and the mantis can take out the mantle here. This human is also almost dead. You're not going to make it. You made it. Oh, crap. Okay. Angie, you come back in. All right. Now, we try this song and dance again. Can we hit? Can we hit? Oh, the, the lasers are missing when I need them to not miss. And uh, I'm looking at things and I'm starting to feel pretty dire about our chances here. I can't mind control anybody. Oh, let's get this medbay fixed up as soon as possible. Uh, we do have shots that we can send in, so let's try it one last time. I say last time because if we don't take them out this time, uh, that's that's real bad for business. And yeah, I would just about say that we're maybe 100% screwed right now. Or close. Rebel flagship fight. Oh, man. Our shields are out. Engines are on fire. We can cloak quickly and try to deal with these issues, but... Uh, it's 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 a it's a weird one. Yeah, I I would say I'm trying here genuinely. I just don't see it happening unless we can get through this drone control unit, basically right now. So you guys get back into the med bay. You come back in here and oh, did not go through. Their dodge chance is just so fucking high. You know what? Uh, and I'm realizing here what my mistake probably is is I should send in the hacking part. At this, and we'll never see it because they just tore me apart. But I should send in the hacking part at the same time when I shoot the missile because that one defense drone can't shoot everything down. It shoot right now. It shoots down just enough. Anyway, that's that was a good score, 35-42. Um, it's not a high score, but it's a high score. It would be a high score if it wasn't just on easy here. And that was a good run. I, I enjoyed that. Let's go back and uh, check out the main menu, and you can see that we've got some new ships here. The Stealth Cruiser Type A and the Lanius Cruiser. So we'll take a look at one of these on the next run. As always, thanks for watching again. Uh, the most utmost thanks for your support so far. It's been really incredible that the FTL series is doing so well. And I really appreciate all the likes and the comments. And, uh, of course, if you want to see more, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.